Lake Mead water levels surge, a glimpse of hope for the drought-stricken West. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Today, we bring you some much-needed positive news from the drought-stricken Western United States. Lake Mead the largest reservoirs in the country, is finally witnessing a rise in water levels. This again changes for the millions relying on the Colorado River for water for over two decades. The western United States has grappled with an unprecedented drought, causing Lake Mead's water levels to plunge dramatically. The consequences have been dire affecting farmers, prompting citywide water restrictions, and reducing hydroelectric power generation at Hoover Dam. The good news is that things are finally looking up. Lake Mead's water levels are on the upswing, thanks to a combination of factors. The winter of 2020-2023 saw above-average snowfall in the Rocky Mountains, contributing to essential snowmelt that fed the Colorado River, the lifeblood of Lake Mead. Additionally, several states in the region adopted mandatory water conservation measures, ensuring more water re While the recent rise is promising, it's crucial to acknowledge that the drought isn't over. Experts predict continued below-average water flows in the Colorado River Basin. This necessitates an ongoing commitment to water conservation by individuals, communities, and governments. The journey to recovery is far from complete. Despite the challenges, the increase in Lake Mead's water level sparks hope for the future. It's a testament to the positive impact of collective action and responsible water management. This achievement encourages us to believe that even in the face of severe droughts, Recovery is possible through united efforts. As of December 8, 2023, Lake Mead's water level stands at 1065.62 feet. This marks a rise of 14.8 feet since the beginning of the year. However, it's still 163.38 feet below its full pull level of 1229.0 feet. Recent developments include above average snowfall in the Rocky Mountains, which significantly contributed to the rise. Several states, including Southern California, have agreed to conservation measures, providing hope for stabilizing Lake Mead's elevations. Despite this progress, Projections indicate that Lake Mead is still expected to reach near-record lows in 2025. Southern California has taken a proactive stance by agreeing to conserve enough water in Lake Mead to support approximately 300,000 single-family homes for a year. The Biden administration is set to pay the Imperial Irrigation District, the largest water user on the Colorado River an estimated $77, six cents million for this conservation effort. Simultaneously, other Southern California agencies are joining in this collaborative effort, reflecting a commitment to system conservation. The Imperial Irrigation District has pledged additional conservation of 800,000 acre feet of system water over the next three years to bolster Lake Mead's elevations. Legislation under President Biden has allocated for dollars billion for Colorado River and Western drought resiliency projects. Additional funding from the bipartisan infrastructure law provides another $8. 3 cents billion over five years for water infrastructure projects, covering water purification, reuse, storage, conveyance, desalination, and dam safety. Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Water and Science, Michael Brain, 
emphasizes the administration's dedication to utilizing every available resource to advance collaborative progress in water conservation across the West. The Imperial Irrigation District is set to receive compensation of $776 per acre foot for the water conserved by farmers. This financial incentive aims to make the farmers whole financially while ensuring the conservation of water and Lake Mead. While these collaborative efforts and positive developments are promising, the reality is that one good water year isn't enough to secure the long-term viability of the Colorado River. Conservation groups express concerns about the river's ability to support reservoir elevations, cities, rural communities, and environmental needs amid a drier future exacerbated by climate change. Wrapping things up, the rising water level in Lake Mead is undoubtedly a positive development, but it's only a step in the right direction. It underscores the importance of continuous water conservation efforts by all stakeholders. Remember, we all play a role in ensuring a sustainable future for the region. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Lake Mead's rising water level. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into this critical issue. What are your thoughts on the rising water level? And how can we collectively contribute to a sustainable future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more informative content, and stay curious as we navigate through these critical issues. Until next time, keep exploring and stay informed.